in life. Okay. It's when you start whinging, complaining and wishing that something was different and you're not doing anything about it and you're putting a label on yourself. Hey, I'm Gem, like a gemstone, and I'm a Kiwi, aka a New Zealander, living in the States, changing people's lives and businesses. How? Well, I'm a boho boss babe, and with my 16 years experience in the law of attraction, eight years owning my fitness business, and five years as a 200 hour yoga and meditation teacher, I combine my mind, body, and soul practices with my proven business strategy and strengths to help you make more money, live in alignment and flow, give you your time back, and live a rich and enriched life of your dreams because you deserve to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. So if you're ready to learn how to shift your mindset, attract what you want, create boundaries, avoid burnout, delegate, manage your teams, empower your staff, strategize and restructure your business, market and sell, find new streams of income, and create the balanced, fulfilled life of your dreams, then grab your coffee or tea and enjoy this episode of the Gym Body Mind Podcast. Morning. Well, it's morning where I am. It's also the 1st of February 2021, brand new month. It's a Monday, brand new week. Feeling super good this morning. And because it is that Monday morning and that new month and I have all of that brand new morning kind of energy and it got me thinking about morning people or non-morning people, (laughs) the morning routine. And, you know, I wrote a post about this on Instagram really quickly and just about how when people say I'm not a morning person, that's a story that we have told ourselves our whole life. Now, now let me dive into this a little bit more. Yes, there are certain sleep types and yes, there are like blood types or horoscopes or sleep types, whether you're a lion, dolphin, bear. There's all of these different things that, uh, that tell us what we should, who we should be or, or what serves us best. And this is the real kicker here. It's what serves us best, okay? What serves us best? If it serves you to get up at 8.30 and have a client at 9, for instance, just as an example, because you love to sleep in, you're a self-proclaimed not a morning person, (laughs) that might be true for you and that's okay if it serves you to not be a morning person. It's when you start complaining about I wish I could get up earlier, I can't get up early in the mornings, I wish I could, I wish I was different, I wish I was a morning person like you, I just can't. And that's when it's a problem, okay? Because you obviously want to change it, it's obviously not serving you, it's causing you some stress and anxiety over it, but it's the mere fact that you want to change, that your perception is that you can't, because you have told yourself your whole life that you're not a morning person. So let's talk about it when it becomes a problem like this. Let's talk about that aspect. I'm not talking about the people who are like, oh no, I get up at eight o'clock and I don't start work until like 10 or even nine o'clock, but I have my self care and me time in the evenings. If you're like, I love getting up late. I love getting up at eight. I love getting up then this podcast might not be for you (laughs) because I'm not talking about that because it's serving you, right? You're not a morning person and you love that fact, right? So I'm talking to the other side. I'm talking to the other side, the other people that you want to change it, but you think that you can't, okay? So let's just remind ourselves right here, right now that we have the ability to change our perception of our reality We have the ability to change our perception of what we think, feel, and how we act, okay? We have that ability. So if you want to change something, okay, in this instance, we're going to talk about mornings. If you want to change it, you absolutely 1000% can. Absolutely. Because you control it. You, no one, there is no one 
chaining you to your bed. Okay, we're not talking about kinky time. <laughs> we're talking about morning time. You're not chained there, okay? Now, I know that a lot of people are going to start to go, oh, yeah, but I just, oh, it's so hard. Yeah, life's hard. And you know what? Changing a story that you've been repeating for 30 odd years is extremely hard. Okay, it's extremely hard. There's no doubt. Okay, I'm not, I'm, there, there's no doubt that, that life is hard and that, and that changing behaviors, changing patterns that have been ingrained in us for however, however many years, yeah, it's hard. Okay, we just get on with it and we just decide to make a change if something's not serving us or would you rather be a victim? Would you rather sit there and be a victim your whole life and complain about the fact that you think you can't change, you can't get up in the morning because there's some magical handcuff, you know, apparatus chaining you or, or cuffing you to the bed? Okay, there's not, there's not. And again, remember, I'm talking to those people who want to change, not the people who love to sleep in in the mornings, okay? Because again, if it serves you, don't change it. If it's not serving you, change it, all right? So with that morning person thing, and again, people think, I, I, I tell myself I am a morning person. Do you think that I was always a morning person? Do you think that I was always like that? No! <laughs> I used to get up back in when I lived in New Zealand. I would get up just with the exact amount of time to jump in the shower, have breakfast, and get in the car to commute to work. Okay, whatever time that was. Again, I think it was about. I think I got up at like seven thirty a.m. to be at work by nine, including commute and including all of the things. Right. So I didn't always get up in the five o'clock hour. Right. I now get up two to two and a half hours sometimes, okay, and I have in the past, needed to get up at 4.30, okay? I have gone through periods of my life where I have needed to get up at 4.30 a.m., all right? And I did it because I sucked it up, I didn't tell myself a story, I did what I needed to do and I just got up, all right? So I didn't used to be a, and I've got quotation marks, you know, going on with my fingers here, a morning person. I changed and I turned myself into a morning person because it serves me better that way. It serves me better to get up two to three hours before I have to show up for somebody else. Before I have to sit here and, and do a podcast, for instance, right? I'm doing a podcast. It's not nine o'clock yet, but I've been up in the five o'clock hour. I've gone and worked out. I've gone for a run. I've meditated. I've read. I've done all these things. Okay, and I've started a podcast and it's not even 9 a.m. Because I chose to. Because I chose to change. It's kind of the same thing where people are like, oh, you're lucky that you enjoy running. I'm not lucky at all. I used to hate running. But that was a story that I told myself. I hate running. That during bodybuilding days? Oh, no, I lift weights. Oh, I love that meme that, that you see that, that says cardio. What's that? Or I just lift weights faster or cardio, question mark, just lift weights faster. I, 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 don't, I can't even remember it now, it was so many years ago. But that, that would circulate in the bodybuilding industry. And so I made us, I created the story. I created the story. I didn't like running. Now that was years ago, right? And now if you look at me now, I'm running almost every morning. I was, I was leading run clubs. Okay, leading run clubs for a someone who thought that they weren't a runner. Someone who put a label on herself as I'm not a runner. And then she led run clubs. Can you see what I'm saying here? All right, it's all in what you're telling yourself. If you wish that you enjoyed running, then go and do it. What is holding you back? Well, I know what's holding you back. It's your brain, okay? It's your mind. It's your mind space. It's your belief. It's the story, all right? So if you wish that you enjoyed running, then go and make it happen and change the way that you're looking at running or change the way you're looking at getting up earlier. Look at it as a positive. Stop putting negative connotations around these ideas and these things that you want to change. It's all within you. It's all in your mind. Can you see how you're creating your reality? This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying creating your reality. You create your reality with your perception and the stories that you tell yourself and that you think. 
It's all in your mind. If you want to become a runner, then go and run and make that your reality. Stop telling yourself that you're not a runner and that you hate it. Only again, okay, only again, if, if it doesn't serve you, if you're sitting here saying, I wish I liked running like you, as soon as you say, I wish, boom, I'm going to turn around and go, well, then you need to change. Then you have the ability, okay? If you really want something to happen and you wish it, then it can happen. Now, if you told me I hate running, I would rather do anything else, and I do. I, I take care of myself by biking. That's my choice. I hate running, and I don't ever want to do it. I'd go, cool. I mean, biking's great too. It's great cardio, and you're doing it for yourself, and you're taking care of yourself, and it's serving you, and you don't like to run, and you're not complaining about it. Great. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep living life, okay? It's when you start whinging, complaining, and wishing that something was different, and you're not doing anything about it, and you're putting a label on yourself. I'm not a morning person. I am not a runner. So I would like you to think about all of those things, like the morning thing, like the running thing, okay? I want you to think about those things that you are telling yourself that you're not, but wish you were. I'm not a morning person, but you wish you were, okay? Bring awareness around to that. Do you want to get up earlier in the morning? Do you want to? If you say yes, then what you need to do is you need to set your alarm. Okay, don't do it backwards. Don't go to bed. Don't try to go to bed earlier because if you got up late, then you won't need to go to bed until late, right? Because you had enough sleep. You've got to, it's going to be painful. Change is painful. Hello, this is life. Change is painful. It's uncomfortable, all right? So what you're going to have to do is you're probably going to be tired for a few days because you're going to have to get up earlier, set an alarm, and count down from five, the five second rule. Thank you, Mel Robbins. Five, four, three, two, one. You've got to get up. Right, blast off, like a rocket. You have to get up when your alarm goes off at your new said time, right? And don't do it like, I'm gonna get up three hours earlier because that's what Jim does. No, <laughs> start with like 30 minutes. Get up 30 minutes earlier one day for about three or four days and then up it to one hour and then one hour and a half. Like you've got to do it slowly. You've got to do it gradually. And then you'll be so tired at night. You'll actually just start to naturally go to bed earlier. Okay, you'll naturally go to bed earlier when you force yourself to get up earlier and then you'll start to get into sync. You'll start a new circadian rhythm, all right? So that's just for mornings, all right? Of course, there's a whole bunch of ideas here. There's a whole bunch of stories that we tell ourselves, but you just have to bring awareness to it first. You have to bring awareness to it first and then realize that you can change it and you just have to change the way that you look at it and you have to change the way that you're thinking about it and you have to change the way that you're feeling or you have to change the way you feel about it. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I hope it served you. And if you aren't a morning person, you don't want to be a morning person, you're happy with the way things are, but you listen through this whole podcast, I hope that this helped you in a different way, in a different thing that you're telling yourself, maybe about the running thing, or maybe it's something we haven't even talked about today. But I hope that it served you somewhere in your life, because that is my passion, that is my mission, that is my duty to you, is to change one little thing about your life to make your life a little bit better. I love you so much. Thank you. You can reach out to me, Jim, at jimbodymind.com. You can check me out on my website, www.jimbodymind.com. You can go and have a look at my breakthrough sessions. If you need 90 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time for your business or your life, you can go and check that out on my website, breakthrough sessions. And then you can follow me on Instagram at jim, G-E-M underscore Munro, M-U-N-R-O. Have a phenomenal Monday, a phenomenal February. I will catch you next week right here on the Gem Body Mind podcast.